French ambassador to the U.S., Philippe Etienne, toured Mayo Clinic to highlight the strong ties between the United States and France today. Our Darian Letty talked to him earlier and joins us live from Mayo Clinic. So the big question of all the places he can visit, why Mayo Clinic? Well, Tom... In 2023, France is actually looking to invest billions of dollars into the healthcare innovation industry. And Ambassador Etienne is here to learn from some of the best. And the history between Mayo Clinic and France actually goes back a long time. A hundred years ago, Dr. Charles Mayo took a visit to Paris to visit with one of history's most famous scientists. Friday, the French ambassador to the United States, Philippe Etienne, made a stop in Rochester to check out the Mayo Clinic. I am really looking forward to the strengthening of the cooperation, uh, especially between the U.S. and France, but especially between France and Minnesota. The relationship between Mayo Clinic and France's medical industry is strong, with all of the top French medical institutes partnering with the medical giant. France is in the top five co-authors of scientific publications produced by the Mayo Clinic. It's a partnership that's been building for 100 years after Dr. Charles Mayo visited Paris to meet Marie Curie, who went on to become the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. This uh, long-standing research that happens here at Mayo with everything from uh, uh, personal medicine um, to the work that goes on in collaboration with France and other countries um, only must continue. Now because of that strong relationship the Mayo brothers helped solidify with France 100 years ago, it still remains today. It was that very visit that started a highly celebrated relationships and a research effort in fields that then revolutionized medicine. Still today, hundreds of thousands of people come from all over the world to visit Mayo Clinic. Sometimes they find out their diagnosis in three hours or four hours, and they've been waiting for three years or four years. Uh, that's what happens at Mayo Clinic. Now, a bit history, a little bit more history for you here. Actually, back when Charles Mayo traveled back from Paris, he came back to Rochester and he opened up the Curie Hospital after Marie Curie that opened up in 1920. And it was actually opened up here at the Kaler restaurant. It had 36 beds and it took x-rays and other radium treatment for Mayo patients. It closed in 1962. Live in downtown Rochester, Darian Letty, KTTC News.